Al Saxon, the referee. Al Saxon from Newbury. And here we go from round one of six round out. Six away, round one. All three minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. And Sanders just not fools. Doesn't want to start just yet. So he's not even facing his man just yet. Of course, Pete Roberts has perfect right to go straight for him, even if his back is turned. He should be defending himself at all times once the bell's gone. Just to try and cool him a bit, the way he's uh, <laughs> curious. I've never seen him do this before. Maybe he doesn't want to face Pete Roberts, and I won't blame him. Roberts is a pretty strong boy and a hell of a good wrestler. All in his usual black gear, black elbow and knee protectors, boots and trunks. All black. That's Pete Roberts from Shotton. And Mel Sanders. Giving away nearly two stone here. This is quite an extraordinary beginning. I can't understand this at all. Referee Al Saxon, it's only his uh, second time on uh, televised wrestling as a referee and uh, He's never seen it before either. Yeah. Well, he's trying to throw Nelson early. Now Sanders, but Robert's just the man to break it. It's only a minute left in this first round after all that uh, motion around arguing with the spectators. as always by Roberts. Side headlock, Roberts now. Just 30 seconds left in this uh, first round of six. Hardly any moves so far. Five seconds. Nice turn. Not doing any good. There's the bell to end round one. Still in the back end of position. That's all we have there. Complaining. He's the most extraordinary mood here this afternoon. I've never seen uh, Mal Sanders like this. Seconds away, round three. Round three. No score. Two falls, two submissions are enough. I can decide about four rounds to go. And still, Sanders does not want to come into the fray at all. That back elbow to his throat. Hasn't made things any better for him. Goes for the full Nelson, gets the half Nelson, switches back fast to the chancery. And very like punch or straight fingers, maybe. Roberts will know. Referee Saxon, a very definite private warning, but still no public warning there. In a tournament such as this, I should have thought we would have dished out a public warning there. Back hammer now to Sanders.
Chris Lever, still Sanders in charge. Changes it to an arm lock. Remember, he's giving away nearly a triple stone here. Not that it matters in this tournament because any blade under 16 stone is okay. one is really sweating profusely now. Sanders hasn't broken sweat yet, I don't think. Energy has been doing very little movement. So this one. And a public warning finally. In round three, the first public warning to superstar Sanders. And Sanders looks at him as if to say, why did you hand me a public warning? I have no doubt at all, surely. And the knee came up across the stomach. Face down, drop, knee drop. Eight seconds. Cross press that didn't quite come off for Roberts. On the bell of Rumford. Surely you must have heard that bell. Rang long enough. Well, Mel Sand is really in an extraordinary mood here this afternoon. Such a good wrestler, became known as uh, Superstar Mal Sanders when he first started at 19 years old. Seconds away, round four. Halfway through the bout, start round four. Still no score, but one public warning against Sanders and the red and white trunks on earth. Run for a boy from Morden. And a backhanded shot to the stomach as he comes off the ropes. Head right on the temple. The knee got right on the temple. Then. Never seen Roberts produce that one before. Body check didn't quite work, but stopped him. That got did him better. That did better. Nice timing. Out goes Roberts through the top two ropes. And the left arm looks a little suspect. He's holding it. And. Sanders has recognizes this, of course, and goes for the left arm in Egypt. Wrench, shoulder wrench on the left arm. Sanders happier now. He's making a bit of an impression against the bigger man. And a possible submission here. got it. Just one minute, 25 seconds into round four. And Sanders, the first submission fall. And this has got the muscle, all right. And round four, the first submission of the contest goes to the mouth of the south, Mel Sanders. Well, Reese is smiling now. A bit happier. Now he's leading uh, Roberts by one fall nil. Submission there in fourth. Well, he's got to get up soon. Two rounds to go. Second slithering, round five. And now Roberts has got to keep that left arm away somehow. Now he's on the deck, no longer legal. Again, the left arm, shoulder wrench. This time Roberts is using both arms and might get the check in. Yes, there it is. Back elbow, and that's, he received one just now, Sanders. That's evened it up. Oh, nicely taken over the right arm, beautifully unfolding press. 
and Robert Shawley just the equalizer here. Beautifully done with just one arm. Sanders trying to tell us his shoulder blades were way off the canvas. But no, it's a fall to Roberts in the fifth. Just took him a minute. And round five, making a gallant comeback there. The equalizing fall, Super Destroyer, Pete Roberts. What a, what a beauty it was. Let's have a look at that again. Sanders thinking he's got it all his own way without going to that left arm. Watch the right arm come into action there and pulling him right over. Balance perfect, timing perfect, and the folding press is per perfect enough for Roberts. One round to go. Sings away, sixth and final round. Now Sanders still going for the left arm. Sometimes legally, now illegally. Uh -oh. Only one public warning is there so far. And a punch to the face, which everybody saw except, of course, the unfortunate referee with the blind side. See what Pete Roberts has to say about it. Round six, the second and final public warning to Superstar Saunders. So he's got two public warnings. Quite legal, inside of the forearm. Down from the ropes. And yes, Roberts waiting for that one. Put the backhanded shot right in the stomach as he came off the ropes there. Turned his van as he posted them. Sidestep nicely there. Can he finish it off? No, missed it. Robert saw that coming too. in back up back elbow there to the head I don't think it's doing much good but nice lift to the base of the spine drop on the knee and Roberts goes clean out right into our camera position there Sanders back in time And he went for the back elbow there, but Robert saw it coming across hands. Reverse, and over the top for a nice slam. Hooks the leg, and a cross press here to Robert. Gets him a place in the quarterfinals for the Grand Prix belt 1988. In two minutes, 25 seconds of round six. Robert's the winner, two to one. And the sixth and final round, the winner by two falls to one. say easy but it wasn't that easy really. anyway it's Roberts as his name to the quarterfinalists for the Grand Prix belt 88 and here it how, it how he did it crossed hands stopped him cold now the twisted round twists his man around, goes for the the waist holder from the other side the unexpected side gets the cross pass and that's it so Roberts adds his name to the quarterfinalists along with Kilby McGregor Murphy Brooks Valentine and Terry Rudge now, after the break, it's time for the world title match, one everybody's been waiting for here in this packed hall. A very strong challenger from France, Marc Mercier from Paris, is here to try and take the title off our very own champion, Marty Jones. Now they're bringing me a Frenchman. Bring them all. There's the belt, there's the flag, the people are waiting. I believe Mercier, his father was a very, very good wrestler. His father had a chance of this belt against the late, great Mike 